Hi there, and welcome back to Belleville Toyota. I'm Bronwyn, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the three different methods of remote starting your Toyota vehicle, including the key fob method, the long range accessory method, and the app. Please note that remote start is not available on all models and therefore may not be applicable to your Toyota. Let's get started. First, I will demonstrate the key fob method on this beautiful 2022 Tundra. Remote starting from the key fob works from up to about 35 feet away from the vehicle. Ensure your vehicle is locked, has all the doors closed, and that there is no key inside the vehicle. We are going to watch the lights on the side mirrors and on the rear as the hazard lights will start flashing once we complete the key operation. The habit you have to create is not being too slow or too fast. Click the lock button three times and on the third time hold it down for about three to four seconds then the four ways will start to flash. I will demonstrate it here. My vehicle is locked, all the doors are closed and there is no key inside so now I can go ahead and click the lock button once, twice, three times and click and hold. The four ways are now flashing, alerting you that the vehicle is about to start. You can see that it's now started, fully running. The four ways flash for about five times after you've started it. Currently on all Toyota vehicles in Canada, once you press the unlock button or use the unlocking sensors on the door handle, the engine will turn off as a security feature. Otherwise, the vehicle will run for 10 minutes before shutting off automatically. Okay, let's check out the app. Once enrolled and logged into your account, you can see information like the odometer read, distance to empty, there's the picture of the vehicle. This widget is to remote start the vehicle. Most vehicles offer a one year free subscription to remote start from the app. On the new Tundras, it's a three year subscription. To start the vehicle, ensure it is locked with all the doors closed and no key inside, just like with the key fob. Click and hold the start button for about two seconds. Once you see the red activate, you can let go. This takes approximately 10 to 25 seconds on average to start the vehicle. Once started, you will receive a notification on your phone. This method works from any distance as long as you have signal on your vehicle and signal on your phone. You'll see at the top, we now have the notification that the vehicle started successfully. This will also alert you if the vehicle did not start and why. The feature I love about the app is the countdown timer for when the vehicle will turn off automatically. To turn the vehicle's engine off, click and hold the stop or timer button for about two seconds. The red will activate again and you will get a similar notification letting you know that the vehicle's engine has been turned off. In this case, our demonstrator also has the app on her watch and she can remote start the vehicle from her smartwatch and or receive all the relevant notifications from her vehicle on there as well. All right, moving on. This is my personal vehicle. I have the 2017 Corolla SE and it did not come equipped with remote start. So in this case, I got it installed after I bought it as an accessory. This is a genuine Toyota remote starter. This accessory is typically not available on newer vehicles as factory installed remote start is more prevalent now across models. Keep in mind that anything aftermarket that isn't Toyota is kind of a use at your own risk kind of deal uh, and it can have some negative impacts on your vehicle. When you install the Toyota Remote Start, you get your typical key that comes reprogrammed for Remote Start, and you do get an additional key fob for long range use. If you start the vehicle from this key, it is the same steps as the Smart Key system as shown at the beginning of the video. The beauty of the long range Remote Starter is that because mine isn't new enough to come equipped with the app, this starts the vehicle from around 800 meters away and it is a two-way communicator, thus letting me know when the vehicle has been started. So let's start the vehicle. I'm going to make sure it is fully locked and none of the doors are open. Using the long range remote, we are going to click the silver middle button, then the top black button, and once it is started, it will sing you a little song to let you know the engine is running. So let's click middle button once, then top button once, you can see the hazard lights will activate and I'll play the live audio now. Vehicle has started. 
and this is the little song that the remote sings back to you. It will make a different sound and flash a red light if the vehicle could not start. For example, if you were too far away or if the doors were unlocked. This will stay running for 10 minutes before shutting off automatically. If you want to manually shut the engine off remotely, click the silver middle button, then the bottom black button. Alternatively, when you press unlock on your key fob, the vehicle will shut off as well. And that is how to remote start your Toyota from your key fob, from the app, and from the long range remote starter. I hope this demonstration helps. I'm Bronwyn from Belleville Toyota. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.